What's up guys, welcome to today's video. As you've seen right now, I've created awesome title mask or transition mask you can use for multiple clips to get a awesome effect. Nobody would expect you've created this on an iPad. Uh, this is just too cool to be true. And yeah, I spent a couple of days to create these effects because you know, they are not very easy to create in LumaFusion, but I've made it. And as a special thank you for the great response on my 1400 uh, sound effects video, I decided to give you one of those masking plugins for free. In total, there are seven right now. So um, if you want to have all of them, they will be included in my LumaFusion Ultimate bundle. So go and check it out. There are also transitions and lots sound effects. Whatever you need in LumaFusion, it's in there. But as I mentioned, one is for free. You can download it uh, in the description box down below. Um, it will be free forever, so you don't have to hurry to download it. Yeah, I decided to do more of this free giveaways um, because the response, as I mentioned, was very good and I'll, I like to interact with the community. So you give me something, I give you something. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and give thumbs up so you won't miss any of the future specials and videos. And now have a nice weekend and we will see each other in a couple of days. Bye. Okay, stop. Um, if you want to know how to use this mask, you should continue watching because I add a tutorial uh, how to use it because it's not that simple. So keep on watching and have fun with the mask. <laughs> So guys, we are in LumaFusion now and the first thing you have to do is to add the first video, not the plugin or the mask. You have to add a video with a specific length, which is useful for this uh, transition. I would recommend four seconds or longer. Then add the title plugin, double tap to add it and go to keying and add the green screen here and play with the settings until all the greens disappear. The next step is to cut it in the right length. Therefore, because we want to use the first and the last and the end of the mask, I would recommend to cut something in between and then yeah, cut it out and delete it. Now save this file as a video with the highest possible settings. Step two, delete all the files in the timeline and add the second video clip you want to have in your mask. Therefore, also select the video folder, choose a clip, drag it into the first layer of your timeline and then drag the rendered clip above. Now choose the right length um, because we don't see the clip in the first second. We can perfectly use it for this mask. Just cut it in the length you need it. Then double tap the masking layer, go to Kia and add a blue screen key. Again, play around with the settings. With the blue screen here, you have to be careful because skies are often blue and you have to change the U settings or the U range to get a perfect blue sky again. And now, as before, save this clip with the highest possible settings. Okay. Again, delete the files in the timeline and choose the last clip you want to have in your masking transition. Select the rendered clip, drag it above. So it looks good so far. Cut the clip beneath to the right length. Delete the rest. Double tap to edit. Go to Kia 
add the green screen key and add pink as color. And now again, play with the settings until you get the best results. You can follow my example. And that's pretty much it. What you have to do next is save it and add it to your video. But now let's have a look on the final result.